Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a closet clean and organized, like extreme clean, extreme organized. Um, I'm gonna show you here in just a little second a before. Um, it's It just gives me a headache every time I go in it, but we're gonna do a quick before and then we're just gonna get right into it. I don't know about you guys, but I've been obsessed with the episode Home Edit on Netflix. I've watched all of the episodes. I need to go grab their book, but yeah, my closet needs to be home edit like nobody's business. So we are going to jump right into that. This video is going to probably be a two part. So the first part will go up on Tuesday and then the second part will go up on Thursday because I think it's going to take me all day. Um, to get this complete and I don't want to put out a video that's like an hour long for you guys so I will split it up into two parts so you guys can get all of that extreme clean motivation and organization so the first part of any home edit is to actually edit Okay guys, so this is the before shot. So I have these bins up here that are overflowing and need, I need to go through them. Our clothes, we just need to go through and give away anything that we are no longer using, no longer wearing, and that have no are no longer serving their purpose. So in the show, that is the first step, step to any home organizational process. So we are going to start editing and wait till I show you behind the door. It is hot mess. Look at that. Yes, it is out of control, but I promise you it's going to look so much better at the end. to get rid of things, to donate them, things that I am no longer using. So this process, I have recently gone through my drawers, so this process is gonna be a bit quicker, but um, yes, I'm gonna go through each of these drawers, take out everything. Um, I do the rolling method for um, folding, and my last laundry video, I show you guys that whole method, how I fold and organize my my clothes, my husband, and my children's clothes. Um, so I will link that video down below, but I'm just gonna go through, oh my goodness, this dresser needs to be wiped down. Look at it, the joys of having black furniture. But I am going to take everything out and then get rid of anything that I, am, I just don't wear. I believe, why should we let things take up space in our minds, in our life, that we just don't use? And I am done and over doing that because guess what? They cover up the things that bring you joy or that you actually use. So I am done, like I said, and over doing that. And I am only keeping things that make me happy, bring me joy, and that when I put on them, I feel great in. As you can see, I filmed this clip way later in the night, but look how nice they look. I got to go through my stuff, my husband's stuff, and just get things organized, neat and tidy, and they look so much better, and I feel so much better. But after this, we are gonna get to the nitty gritty, and we are gonna get to that closet. And if you are like me, I am secretly trying to avoid it, but I know that it's gonna make me feel amazing when it is all done. And now I'm gonna start on this closet. And guys, maybe your situation is different than mine. I am a working mom of two, 
married and I don't have time during the week to do this, but maybe you have, you can slither out a little time in your day to get one area clean and decluttered. decluttered. Do that. Maybe you don't have a whole do day to donate to this process. This was all I had to do. I only had a whole day to donate to this process or it wouldn't have gotten done. So whatever time or whatever day or whatever space that you can carve out to get at least one area decluttered, trust me, you are going to feel that much better. So right now I am working on the purses. I am just going through them and yes, I got rid of some purses, but I just wanted to make sure none of my personal belongings or anything were left in them. And you guys, we got rid of the biggest bag of stuff. And I just felt so proud of us that we got rid of so much stuff. And guess what? Your trash or the items that you are not using will be someone else's treasure. So you're not only doing this for yourself, you can do this to help others. Because maybe that purse that was sitting in your closet collecting dust will be a brand new purse or something special for someone else. So doing that as well, doing this decluttering method, just thinking about that makes me feel good. My closet, I use it for different purposes, I guess, than just a regular closet. I needed an area in my home that I could store all of these goodies that I buy. And I decided to move that downstairs and store the items there. And then I had these Halloween PJs just sitting on the floor in my closet forever. I needed to get rid of those. I had some Ugg boots that I barely ever wear. So I just needed to donate those. So just going through and getting rid of stuff that you are no longer using. The, edited por the editing portion of this um, method is going to take you the longest. But if you just reorganize and put all of that junk back in your closet that you are not using, it doesn't serve its purpose. So the editing portion is going to take you the longest, but it's going to be the most satisfying portion of all of this. Okay, so I was finishing editing the whole closet. My husband had to do this portion, so now it's the shopping part, and now it's giveaway time. So if you have made it this far in the video, we are at Walmart and we are checking out some storage bins. Weren't those non-dollar bins such a great deal? I picked up three of them, no secret. But um, I am going to be giving away a $25 gift card to Walmart so you guys can pick up some of their affordable um, systems. This gift card, um, the only, you don't have to do much to earn it. You guys know in the month of February, I'm giving away a few of my favorite things and I love cleaning and I love organizing, so here it is. So all you have to do is make sure that you watch this video. Please comment down below. Um, I usually have a prompt question in my description box, but for this one, I want to know what is that area in your house that you need to home edit? Is it your kitchen? Is it your cupboard? Is it your linen closet? What area is in desperate need of some home editing? So let me know that that down in the description box down below. Make sure you are following me on here and also Instagram and that is it. If you have a different name on Instagram than you do on YouTube, please let me know that down in the comments down below. But that is it. And then this giveaway will be live on Tuesday and it will end on 
Saturday. So good luck to you guys and happy shopping. So yes, Walmart had some of the best prices on this organizational stuff. I have never really shopped the Walmart aisles for organizational items and I was blown away. $4.99 for those drawer organizers. If you guys saw earlier, I have them, but they were from Ikea, and I'm pretty sure I paid a little bit more. But I was obsessed and in love with everything that they had to offer at Walmart for home organization. And you guys will see what I picked up later, and the quality was not bad at all, especially for that amazing price. So I wanted to show you guys what I picked up really quickly. So I got this for $9 at Walmart. It's like a little chest and I think we can use this for some of those clothes he has hanging up. I mean, on the top of shelf. These were very inexpensive. This big thing was only $9. And these were, this was, I think like $4. It's like a hanging thing, so we're going to see if I can make that work on his side of the closet to store some of his stuff. And then these are some drawer organizers, which I'm not even sure. They were like $4. I'm not even sure I'm going to use them in this organizational video, but I will see. And I'm going to try to reuse those dollar store bins that I currently have. So we're going to use this as a good stopping point because I have literally worked the majority of the first half of the day, but this is what the closet started at. And I'm going to show you in a little bit, the big bag of items we're going to give away and then where I am stopping at, what the closet currently looks like now. And then in part two, you will see everything put back together and the finale of this extreme closet organization and makeover using the home edits method of organizing. So this closet, this portion was mostly the edit. Next video will be, I will um, get everything put back in and show you guys what zones that I created that will help us better function in our closet. So guys, this is where we are stopping. Look at that huge bag of clothes that I gave away. And then all of this stuff is the items that are I am keeping that I have to put back into the closet. And let me show you our stopping point. By no means is this done, but this is a good stopping point. The tops of the closet, I haven't done that area yet. And my husband, we still need to go through and organize his clothes a bit better. But this is where we're stopping and I feel oh so good. So I'm going to fuel up, spend a little bit of time with my family and then jump back in it for part two for you guys to get that closet um, done. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to follow the um, giveaway rules down below in the description box. And I will see everybody in my next one. Bye guys.